just reached out to uh, Dean Friend of the College of Community Health Sciences to see if there was anything we could do to help with uh, the shortage of PPE, personal protective equipment. Uh, he mentioned face shields and masks and gloves and the face shields was something that we could really get into very quickly and so that's where we started our, our efforts. First step in our process was finding a design that we were comfortable with and that the healthcare providers were comfortable with. We didn't want to produce something that wasn't right for the people in their need. The design we had originally took about four hours to print. We were able to cut that in half without losing quality. That We felt that we could maintain social distancing and still provide the, the quality and that's where we came up to a number of around 60 to, to 70 a day that we can produce in industry. Students reached out to us and volunteered their time so that they could help us assemble the face shields. Some are still living local, and so we were able to tell them that they can come help us assemble and be involved in the process. We got approval from the university to have some students volunteer to, to help us, and so we organized that effort. Uh, predominantly through the STEM path and to the MBA program. So we've organized and have about three students per shift a day uh, to come in for an hour to two hours and help assemble those face shields. We already have the resources here to be able to create the mass and because of the high demand right now, we wanted to offer our resources to help manufacture the shields and help the local community any way we could. Our first effort is to try to get about 200 to the College of Community Health Sciences for their people. And then we're, we're already in contact with DCH, and so really we'll be starting to supply them. And then in coordination with uh, the hospital and college, we'll be distributing out further into the community as we can. So we are sharing a lot of information with other universities. They're sharing with us because we're all really working together to help our communities. And so it really is, uh, a network of friends really trying to help each other help our own communities and that's really the bottom line of what we're trying to do.